Welcome back people to Mark 2. Pit of Despair Mark 2. Hey, <laughs> this is pit what? This is Mark 1, pit 1. And it's still working people. I get uh, all kinds dropping in there. Rabbits, traders, the tra traveling tradesmen with his llamas. I get free leather, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, and polar bears of course. Uh, and now I'm building Mark II, which is a bit bigger. I wanted it a bit bigger. The issue I'm going to have is water. Um, the idea is I'm going to stick like, make a big pit and then get water to drop, drop down uh, and then go to the center. And then have a, I was thinking a 4x4 four four, uh, magma block, but I've had to go to a 3x3. Three three. It just works better. It just does. So you'll see that in a minute anyway. But basically, this Mark II is going to be... Well, I was going to leave it the way I'm going to leave it when I show you. But then I changed my mind and made it better. I think it did anyway. So there you are. There's, there it is, people. I've just got to now... I, th I think I've got everything flowing in the right direction. So I, just, I thought I'll test it with these things, snowballs. So I took a snowball in. And sometimes it stays there. If you're thinking about a mob or something like that, the mob will try and walk around. Virtually everywhere you drop it, drop one of these, it goes to the centre. Thinking that's good. What about the other side? Just for argument's sake, let's have a look. Why not? Yes, I, over the top of this, I'm going to have to I, I get rid of all that dirt and make it all cobblestone. Yeah, I make it all cobblestone, so it should be okay. And off it flows to the scent. Oh, great, starts to snow. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't mind the snow, mate. I mean, th just think about this. The mechanics of the snow. When it snows, it piles up and keeps piling up. You're having... An it's the ultimate building block. It just is. It's the ultimate building block. The snow is the ultimate building block. You've got an endless supply of it. What can you build with it? Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to keep looking at that over the next few months. Uh, I'm going to play around with snow to see what else I can do with snow block and ice and all the others. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to build a trough of some sort underneath the 3x3. Three three. Well, I've got 4x4 four four at the moment, but I changed that to a 3x3 three three, because uh, I have to. Or oh, was it down? I can't remember now. Either way, I've got to, I've got to get to the bottom, haven't I? Otherwise, it, I won't be able to do anything. So I can see it there. So get rid of there. It is a 3x3. Three three. You can see it. It's a 3x3, three three, which is perfect. That'll do. Get ready, people. A dramatic change in the end. <laughs> Either way, there it is, people. Boom. And it works. And it works. There, there's my cobblestone uh, edge. I've just got to now fix these guys in and uh, yeah it's sort of work i don't like the idea you can't go right up to the corner but you can't have everything so don't worry about the corners as long as one corner's got one of them on give or take and uh, this is easier look and then we go around and close them all there you go so yeah once this is done and then the snow when it snows again all that grass top you see there will be covered in in white snow so that the mobs won't think of anything of it just the extra bits the cobblestone that will be covered with snow and then they'll think they can walk over that and boom they're in the pit of despair <laughs> and does it work i can tell you now people it does work but i want it a bit, a bit more efficient the only way i can make it more efficient is by adding traders for which i do do you know what i mean i do add traders to it there's Mark 1, people, and it's still working a treat. I know it works a treat. And now, we've got, wait, wait for it, Mark 2. Yeah. And the idea was, I used myself as bait to attract uh, the skeletons with the poisonous arrows over towards me via these windows. And it works. But, that, but then you think to yourself, that means then you've got to stand there and attract him in. Do you know what I mean? And it does work. They do, they do come for you and drop into the pit of despair. 
and you get bones, arrows, and the odd poisonous arrow. I thought I'd, I'd, I had this thinking, a theory, that you'd get lots of poisonous arrows. Not necessarily. No, you won't. You probably won't get that. But you do get shed loads of arrows and bones, which is which is pretty good. But I wanted it a bit more effective. I thought, well, what? How, how can I make this more effective? So I thought, well, I'll show you this anyway later on in in this video. It's only a short video, people. Do you know what I mean? It's only short. I thought to myself, could we get traders working? Could we? But just to show you that it worked, there's I've got a view of Mark 1, definitely working for polar bears. The odd rabbit drops in, like I say. And, uh, I mean, travelling tradesman, if he falls in, he drags in his llamas. <laughs> so you get free leather. <laughs> hey, whatever. I don't mind. And when I put traders in there, in this little cubby hole, or this little room, uh, which I thought might attract them even more, they start dropping in. Uh, cats, cats start dropping in, and he gets some free string. <laughs> the hit of despair. So I won't improve on this. I won't. I won't make. I won't go for a. a sorry, I won't go for a Mark Three. I think I'm happy with Mark Two. I'm going to stay with Mark Two, but I'm going to improve on it by adding more traders. That will then produce, hopefully, golems, and they that they, they then might drop into, into the pit of despair, Mark Two, and give me iron and poppies. So why not? I wanted some. I wanted some traders there, and I literally don't have traders up and running in this world, even though I've got five sets of wings and I think thirty-three or thirty-four uh, skulker boxes. I think I've got plenty of everything. So it's, it's about building up now. I've got, uh, this is what you should be doing from day one, really, is getting this all done, then going for Skulkers. I've gone, I've gone racing to the Dragon, racing to get Skulkers, but forgot to build up my farm and build up my bits and mobs. But that's what Minecraft is it's all about, isn't it? It's about doing stuff. Well, well, I won't do that, then you do that. Then, oh, I won't do that, then you do that. And that's how Minecraft, that's how I uh, approach Minecraft. It works that way. So the odd one does come in, you can see this, it does work, but I improve on that design later by going to the roof. Job done. I was hoping he fell into Mark 1. <laughs> so Mark 1 just keeps ticking over, do you know what I mean? And it does work. It's worth having two pits in it. Maybe three pits or four pits, but I think I'm happy with maybe Mark 1 and Mark 2. They're working. And I want I want to try and make it a bit more efficient in the sense of uh, maybe getting some golems together. So you can see it working. It is doing something. But later it gets a bit it gets better than this, people. It does get better. So that's working a treat. That's going from uh, there to there. Happy days collecting. For some unknown reason, it wouldn't drop. It wasn't working with one hopper. So I put two hoppers in over the box. And it sort of worked. I thought, okay, mate, whatever. Crazy. Sometimes the mechanics of Minecraft just says, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to work for you. Nope. And I thought, what's going on? The other one works, but for some reason that one didn't want to work. So I had to use two hoppers. Either way, people, I think this is where I show you. Uh, is that where I wanted to leave it? Yeah, that's where. I, that's where I wanted to leave it. I think. And now I've got, have I got traders in there? I think I have. So yeah, plenty of snow people. Do you know what I mean? The mechanics of snow. You go around and collect as much as you can from it and boom, you know what I mean? You've got instant, instant blocks. Look at the loot! <laughs> look at the loot! Okay, it's not mega, but look at, it's free! It's just anything that falls in, that's it, they're done. So you can see I've got string. That wasn't from spiders. That's from the cats. <laughs> I don't care where the string comes from. <laughs> Try to get some bees going. And then a snowfall come. Oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> so yeah, I stand on the roof and uh, attract him over. The odd one falls in there. Happy days. Um, have I got all six here now? Yeah, all six. So my idea and plan is... What I might do is build a bigger one on the top of this, 
have that room back to what I wanted, right, for me, like a little storage room, for trade, a trading storage room for me, and then above that, I'll have a bigger trading hall where I'm hoping to get librarians going, a lot of librarians, more traders. I aren't doing this by queuing them either. I'm doing this the way Minecraft wanted you to do it, I think, which is just breed them. Even this one's producing, Luke. Look at that. Jeez. And that there's all free stuff. Hey. <laughs> So yeah, I think they want us to do it this way, which is like breed them and, and, and thingy. So I might just build a bigger trading hall on top. Hopefully that will generate a few golems that might drop into the pit of despair, giving me iron. And that's the plan for going through to the future. In the next few days, I'll be building that. But I thought to myself, hang on, if I'm going to have lots of traders... And lots of librarians, I'm going to have to upscale my sugar cane production. There are people, it's worked, hasn't it? He's dropped in. Someone's going to be dancing on hot coals in a minute. <laughs> so I'm, I've got to upgrade my sugar cane production, for which I do in the next video. A video you are not wanting to miss because I'm going to say it right now it is my most favourite video of all out of all the videos i've ever produced see you mate <laughs> out of all the out of all the videos i've ever made produced or narrated of my own of my own making this is my favorite coming up next do not miss this people you will go wow i want to do that the possibilities are endless literally endless so what uh, okay i've fallen in the pit no problem there's my doorway. If I didn't have a pick, I'd be, na I'd be naffed, wouldn't I? You know what I mean? <laughs> but there you go, people. You can see it working. So Mark II is working, but drips and drabs. It's not very effective. Do you know what I mean? So join me in the next video when I upscale Mark II and, and I definitely increase my paper production. Thanks, guys.